Along this bike path in East Boston, Alice Brown with the group Boston Harbor Now points to tiny holes in the ground that can be used to anchor a temporary watertight barrier and seal off this neighborhood the next time the harbor starts to flood. So if you came during a flood, this wall would appear out of nowhere. This area would still flood, but nothing behind it would. So all of the rest of the greenway and any flood pathways beyond it would be protected. Recently, the city installed posts around the Aquarium T station entrance where temporary flood barriers can also be put in place. And along Langone Park in the north end, the harbor walk has been raised four feet and a second seawall added behind it. These are some of the first projects completed under a plan Boston adopted back in 2017 to prepare for sea level rise. Well, the rate of sea level rise is picking up in places like Boston and elsewhere on the East Coast. Uh, sea levels have risen about a half foot in the last 30 years in the Boston area, and it's expected to increase a foot to a foot and a half in the next 30. In her first budget proposal, Mayor Kim Janey says she wants to spend an additional $5 million this year to study additional ways to prevent coastal flooding. Live in East Boston, David Binick, WCVB, News Center 5.